मुझे यूक्रेन अच्छा लगता है एजुकेशन के हिसाब से देखा जाए तो अच्छी क्वालिटी है उनके इट्स अ ग्रेट कंट्री पीपल आर वेरी फ्रेंडली एंड आई थिंक आई फाउंड माई सेल्फ ग्रेट ग्रुप ऑफ फ्रेंड्स सो वी यूज टू इन्जॉय आर कॉलेज लाइफ आर हॉस्टल लाइफ एंड एवरी थिंग वॉज वेटी गुड they'd been going through their lives preparing for what they had hoped was going to be a perfect career nobody had quite expected what was to unfold russia has over 100000 troops gathered on three sides of ukraine and fears of an invasion are growing stronger every day nations are also pulling out the citizens out of kiev pehle to humne kabhi socha bhi nahi tha aisa kuch hoga hum sochte the ki like normally education chalegi as thousands of indian students were suddenly caught up with the conflict escalating right from october onwards the um, din about conflict uh, was escalating and then it was backed up with uh, personnel and uh, people at the border and then the western press also was alerting that yes uh, some kind of uh, activity intense conflict was imminent hamare kareeb 20000 bete betiya jo padhai ke liye ukraine mein the tab hamare samne sabse prathmik kaam ye tha कि इन बच्चों को सुरक्षित वापस लाना है पीएम वॉज आफ्टर आर सेंग भाई ये संकट का समय आने वाला है तैयारी करो गेट योर सिस्टम्स इन ऑर्डर डेटा कलेक्ट करो so we went actually through the month of january trying to build up this database so what we did is we created virtual meetings and i explained that this is just a formality for the government to make sure that you are registered in this portal to understand about your where about the portal for registration opened and in just a matter of hours data from students began to pour in we had even gone to the extent of geo tagging them literally uh, their locations were on our smartphones at this point the collection of data revealed three important issues For one, there were about 22,500 Indian students studying all over Ukraine. Secondly, 40% of India students were in East Ukraine, closer to Russia's borders, and 40% of Indian students were in West Ukraine, which was far from Russia and relatively safer. The Indian government took anticipatory action, and on 15th of February. issued an advisory that all those whose presence in Ukraine was not essential should plan to leave the country temporarily I remember my mother telling me asking me to come back to India but I just kept telling her that the situation is normal here we were actually encountering a problem on the ground lot of students did not want to leave we university mein logo log unko keh rahe the ki aap chale jaoge so you know you will lose your uh, academic career so i can understand unki apni duvidha thi indian government says there could be a war and the local government says chances of war are slim the students are obviously going to go by what the local people say to same wohi question samne aata tha ki problem nahi hai aap continue rakho abhi bhi to sab kuch normal hi hai ek middle class banda jo loan leke gaya uske baad usko do bar sochna padta hai some people actually thought that by allowing foreign students to remain there maybe that would provide a safety wall in the face of military action medical colleges in ukraine were not willing to resort to online classes so they told the students that if you go back home you will miss exams hum to kar rahe the advisories lekin hamara final year tha na to matlab hamare liye possible nahi tha bahar jana the next day the indian embassy in ukraine opened 24 hour hotlines to cater to emergencies and in new delhi a control room was set up With 20 officers. हमारे यहाँ जब भी कुछ ऐसी समस्या होती है तो we we know there will be an operation to be done. First thing you have to do is to set up a control room so that a clearing house. You have to have your teams in place. It's got to be 24/7. The prime minister monitored it personally, of course. All hands on deck operation. We were inundated with calls. Most of course, parents were concerned about the whereabouts of their children, but we were more concerned about where are they? Have you heard anything which is endangering them? 
And to add to the chaos were the exorbitant ticket prices of the limited number of flights due to the pandemic. जैसे जैसे लेट हो रहा था फ्लाइट की प्राइसेस बहुत ज्यादा हो रही थी उसके बाद से फ्लाइट फुल 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 The Civil Aviation Ministry has removed the restriction on the number of flights and seats between India and Ukraine in the air bubble arrangement. On 18th of February, the Embassy of India in Kyiv sent out an advisory stating that Air India was going to operate three flights out of Kyiv on 22nd, 24th and 26th of February. The moment I heard it uh, that I have to operate this flight, I immediately my reaction was to say yes. Not every person gets such chance in life to, you know, serve your country. The first Air India flight carrying around 242 Indian students landed in New Delhi. The nation had been holding its breath and this was a sigh of relief. Actually due to our efforts, करीब uh, 4000 जो हैं वो 24 फरवरी के पहले निकल चुके थे And on 24th February the world sat up in shock as dread and fear turned into reality. Russia had essentially launched a full scale invasion of Ukraine. We are getting you the most dramatic images. You see that on your screen? The explosions, the shelling, that is being reported now. Whoever tries to threaten our country, Russia's response will be immediate and one that you have never experienced in your history. What is more worrying for us was there are so many Indian students who were studying in Ukraine. What will happen to them? Our Air India flight at that point of time was already five hours into its flight when war broke out. A no time was issued that all air space above Russia has now been closed off. Then there was a panic. and at that point of time through our emergency satellite phones we connected with the air india aircraft and there was no other option unfortunately but for that airliner to turn back home this was the same air india flight that arshan was supposed to board and return home on so i was waiting at him sat down and then suddenly wa ke jo managers the airport ke wo daudte aaye wa ke aur sab passengers ko bola क्वेश्चन क्वेश्चन वॉर फिर जैसे ही हम निकले उसी वक्त बॉम्बिंग स्टार्ट हो गई एयरपोर्ट के आसपास और एयरपोर्ट के अंदर भी जो रन में था ना वहाँ पे भी बॉम्बिंग हुई थी रूस यूक्रेन के बीच तरह और क्यूब में एयरपोर्ट के पास फायरिंग की खबर निकलकर सामने आ रही है क्यूब एयरपोर्ट को खाली कराया गया है इस वक्त की सबसे बड़ी खबर जब वॉर स्टार्ट हुई ट्वेंटी फोर्थ को वो फर्स्ट डे और फर्स्ट नाइट हमने अपने रूम में बिताई थी उस रात तो हम पूरी सोई नहीं the modi government uh, in the past 9 years or past decade has established a, a very stellar record of being responsive to uh, the needs of indians in trouble in war zones or disaster zones in different parts of the world vishwa bhar mein phaile hue bhartiya vyaktigat rup se kuch sankat aaya kahi koi bimar ho gaya to wo apeksha karta hai ki aap turant hame le jaane ki vyavastha kijiye swabhavik hai और हिंदुस्तान का नागरिक भी चाहता है कि भाई ऐसे समय सरकार नहीं करेगी तो कौन करेगा ये तो सरकार का दायित्व तो भी है एज द न्यूज अबाउट रशियाज ऑपरेशन इन यूक्रेन ब्रोक आउट प्राइम मिनिस्टर श्री नरेंद्र मोदी वॉज इन उत्तर प्रदेश एंड डिसाइडेड टू रश बैक टू डेली एज यू वॉज फ्लाइंग टू डेली ओवर द रिवर गंगा अट क्रॉस्ट इज माई 
गंगा से बड़ा पवित्र कुछ नहीं है ये कार्य भी उतना ही पवित्र है जैसे मां गंगा संकटों के बीच से पहाड़ों को चीरती हुई सदियों से लोगों के कल्याण के लिए बहती रहती है ये भी उतना ही पवित्र कार्य है उस पवित्र भाव ने ही इस पूरे ऑपरेशन को ऑपरेशन गंगा नाम बहुत सहज रूप से निकल गया था The Prime Minister called an emergency meeting, assessed the situation on the ground. What is it that we could do to understand how we can bring our students out? I have done the first work. I have to talk to the parents of the children. I have to trust them. The government is with 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 them. Because today we are digital, we were able to actually send government officials to virtually every family. Ministers and district collectors were directed to make personal visits to each concerned family, who were assured of complete support from the government of India. हमने सबसे पहले जैसे ही parents की call आने लगी तो एक control room बनाया और उसपे एक email id हमने दी और एक whatsapp number जारी किया ताकि कोई भी parents जिनका बच्चा यूक्रेन में या आसपास की European countries में stuck हो गया कोई भी parents ये सारे data भिजवा दें बायोडाटा ले रहे थे कि यूक्रेन में भारतीय स्टूडेंट कितने हैं वो हर एक की फीडबैक ले रहे थे कि जब टाइम आने पे हम उनकी मदद कर सके वो डिसीजन बहुत अच्छा था प्राइम मिनिस्टर नरेंद्र मोदी हैज ओवर द इयर्स डेवलप्ड गुड रिलेशंस विद मेनी वर्ल्ड लीडर्स एंड फॉर इंडियाज इंटरेस्ट ही पुट हिज स्टेटमेंटशिप टू द फोर ही डायल्ड फ्रॉम हिज ऑफिस इन न्यू डेली प्रेसिडेंट पुतिन ऑफ रशिया एंड प्रेसिडेंट जेलेंस्की इन यूक्रेन and requested them in India's interest to allow the creation of green corridors. Now you must understand that the establishment of safe or green corridors is very difficult because it requires the two opposing armies to build trust in each other, to cease fire and to allow people to move out of the conflict areas through these safe corridors. And this is no easy task. There have been evacuation processes earlier. Did you take those so seriously that your head of state or government actually picked up the phone and spoke? I don't know. I'm not aware. But I do know that my prime minister actually did it. कौन क्या सोचेगा? उसके आधार पर हम निर्णय नहीं करते हैं. हम निर्णय करते हैं. हम क्या सोचते हैं? किसके लिए सोचते हैं? आखिरकार हम किसके लिए हैं? We knew that. We knew that every Indian needs to come out, and we just need to be there to make it happen, no matter what it takes. I would say the system started moving on 24th itself. Our idea was four Padosi: Poland, Slovakia, Hungary, Romania. Later on, we added Moldova. So, in four of them, as soon as we can talk, take their cooperation, get in people. But there was another challenge. At that time, vast number of Ukrainians fleeing their country came to Poland. So the few Indians and the few other nationalities who were coming, it was very difficult for them to cross. Then we reached the first point. We saw the situation there. There was a long line. There were thousands of students there. Some students were taking their clothes and taking their clothes and taking their clothes. There was a lot of heat. There was a lot of heat. I knew that those kids were standing there in minus 8, minus 10 degrees Celsius. Many of them were just wearing jeans and one hoodie. Many of them didn't have much to eat or anything. It was extremely very worrying. We were getting phone calls, you know, people were moving, saying that, you know, Bhad Lambi line is 15 kilometers from the border. We can't approach the place. Then we moved our ambassadors physically, saying, you go to the border and deal with it. The first big chunk uh, came without informing anyone. They were just there. So it was about four, five hundred students who had collected at the border. We had to work on two fronts. One is tell the Romanian authorities that these are the students coming. And I was given an assurance by the foreign ministry that all the requirements like visa requirements, they would be waived. How do you get the border unclogged? That was a huge issue because we are not the only people getting out. You know, there are a lot of Ukrainians trying to get out. It was Prime Minister Modi who reached out to the heads of states and requested that they ease visa restrictions and help fast-track border transits. 
through the Romanian authorities, in a slow trickle, people started coming out. While the Polish border was jammed and things had slowed down, on the flip side, 470 Indian citizens exited Ukraine into Romania, safely through the Siret Porobny border. Even though the mechanics of the rescue operation had been put into place, the Indian students in particular caught up there were facing enormous number of challenges. Container bombing was happening. We were not safe at that time. We were not in bunkers. We were not in bunkers. The first bunker that I went to, it was extremely congested. There was a water supply pipeline, electricity pipeline. It was like a lot of water. Twenty-five thousand plus people. Just to conceive of their evacuation in normal, peaceful times is itself an exercise. And when you juxtapose that with something like an active conflict happening, you don't really want to contemplate uh, what difficulties can happen. 26th of February is a date we will all remember as Indians. We were given a very safe passage uh, to reach Budapest and get all the stranded Indians out. And once we reached there, you could see the terminal filled off. All the students and they're trying to wave at us, they're trying to click pictures. As the first flight flew out, an Operation Ganga had taken flight. Early next day, the second evacuation of Indian students took place as an Air India flight landed back in India with over 250 Indian students. At 3 o'clock, the second flight flew to Delhi. Our Prime Minister was very good that we had to take care of our children. 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 This is only a child who is a child. Prime Minister Narendra Modi monitored this exercise on a minute-to-minute -minute basis, held meetings in the Situation Room minimum twice a day, every day. Union Ministers of External Affairs, Jay Shankarji, Piyush Goelji, working the phones and working the systems on the ground, along with our embassy staff in all of these four countries. Our embassy in Kiev did not leave, even though war had broken out until our children were safely put on special railway trains which were commissioned by our embassy. And while other countries had left their nationals to fend for themselves in war-torn Ukraine, Mother India was not about to give up. There were students from like Turkey or, and Africa and when I asked them like what will happen to you guys, any advisory or something, they were like no, my country people are actually saying that uh, we are the problem, thank God. At least our country is doing something for us. Prime Minister Modi ji had clearly instructed us that while we are evacuating our citizens, we may also take care of our neighboring countries. Whoever requires help, we should extend help. Bangladeshis, Pakistanis, Sri Lankans, Nepalese, many of them traveled on our special flights home. I'm very really thankful to the Indian Embassy of Kiev for supporting us all the way here as we were, we were stuck in very difficult situations. Also thanking the Prime Minister of India. Meanwhile, Bangladesh's Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina has thanked Prime Minister Narendra Modi and the government of India for the help in evacuating Bangladeshi nationals from Ukraine. Dunya ڈیوٹی और नेपाल में जो भारतीय फंसे थे, उनको वापस भी लेना था। दोनों मोर्चे पर हम डटे रहे, काम करते रहे। मेरा पहले से आग्रह रहा कि हमारी विदेश नीति भी ह्यूमन सेंट्रिक होगी। 
वो सिर्फ भारत के नागरिक ही उम्र ऐसा नहीं है पूरी मानव जात के लिए मैं सोचता हूं Just after the third flight had taken off from Bucharest in Romania, a grievous tragedy was about to unfold for an Indian student, Arjot. As we were at the metro station, it was about 2.5 km away from the metro station. It was the first shot that was out of my left hand side. It was about 3-4 bullets that were shot in my chest. So, it was on the spot. 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 मैं वहीं नीचे लेट गया मेरी सांसें बंद होनी स्टार्ट हो गई थी मेरे पास कोई और ऑप्शन नहीं था मेरे पास एक ही ऑप्शन था मैं फैमिली सबको याद किया बट फिर भी मैं खड़ा हुआ कि मरना तो है ही है बट ऐसे तड़प के नहीं मरेंगे मैं जैसे ही सडनली खड़ा हुआ तो मेरे जो उनसे लेफ्ट लेग है सर इसके घुटने में आर पार बुलेट हुई पाँच बुलेट जब इंसान को लगी हो तो इंसान ये तो ऊपर वाले की कृपा थी सर उसने खुद बचाया मेरे को आ करके Arjot, he was saved by some Ukrainian officers, but his parents didn't know that he'd had such a close brush with death. 12.30 in the midnight, I received a call from the Prime Minister. He just told me that Bohot Gambir is Titi Hogya hai, and uh, I want senior ministers to lead the evacuation team. So you will have to go by tomorrow itself. The Indian ministers given responsibility to oversee the rescue operations in Europe were Mr. Jyotiraditya Sindhya in Romania and Moldova, Mr. Kiran Rijiju in Slovakia, Minister Hardeep Singh Puri in Hungary and General V.K. Singh in Poland. See, what the Prime Minister said was, we have to coordinate everything diplomatically with our mission in Ukraine how to get the students out. The exact means we have to find ourselves. But the aim should be to get them out as fast as possible. The minister actually was sent as a kind of a statement of commitment to that government where you sent that minister. Hey, bhai, this is important enough for us. It shows you how much the PM himself is invested. He was very clear in his direction. I am sending you भारतीय नागरिक युवाओं और युवती को वापस घर सुरक्षित लाना आपकी जिम्मेदारी है और मेरा निवेदन है कि आप लोग तभी वापस आएंगे जब उस देश से आखिरी फ्लाइट भारत वापस आई ऑन मार्च फर्स्ट द स्पेशल एंड बॉयज ऑफ द फोर मिनिस्टर्स रीच्ड देयर डेस्टिनेशन एंड बिगैन ओवर सींग द रेस्क्यू ऑपरेशन they were carrying special letters for the heads of state. Prime Minister Narendra Modi's astute decision to write personal letters to the heads of government of the country's neighboring Ukraine not only had an emotional effect on them, but it also helped to galvanize support for India's rescue operation. When I went to Bratislava to hand over the special letter written by Modi ji, the Prime Minister of Slovakia was uh, so overwhelmed. And he told me that your Prime Minister uh, Modi ji has already spoke to him. He also instructed instantly that assistance to Indian operation must be at the highest level. So their foreign ministry, their military, their uh, police, their aviation team were well coordinated before I could reach there. Honorable Prime Minister felt going there as a special envoy with a letter from him to the heads of state and government would impress on the concerned government that the government of India takes this very seriously. Seriously enough for a senior minister to go there and camp there. You go and deliver his uh, letter to the president or the prime minister, whosoever in that country. Accordingly, it makes things better. We know that there are 14,000 children at this point of time, a ray of hope emerged. The Ukrainian capital, Kyiv, lifted its curfew, and India saw a window to evacuate its nationals from Ukraine. The ambassador and uh, our staff have been at it, trying to get you people out. Private airlines from India, Joint Air India, 
and it was all hands on deck to allow for the speedy evacuation of as many Indians as possible from this window of opportunity in the middle of a war. They all came forward and they said, whatever is required, how many ever planes are required, we will create that movement to make sure that we bring our students back home. But the big question remained, how do you move students safely out of Ukraine and to the neighboring countries? You didn't have buses, trucks, taxis, nothing. How do you move 450 students out across eight kilometers when every 500 meters there's a blockade with such a huge number of people in a curfew time? So obviously we had to find ways to move them out. Now, look, the power of the Tiranga is never a force of us. It's a force of us, it's a force of us, but it's a force of us. When the children were left out of the Ukraine, and the people who were showing the Tiranga of the Tiranga, then the whole society was standing in front of it. On social media platforms, there was information that the students had put Indian flag on the bus, and they were safely out of it. बाकी सबको रोका गया चेकिंग के लिए बार बार तो हमने भी यही किया कि बस के चारों तरफ इंडिया का फ्लैग लगा लिया और हम भी बॉर्डर सेफली पहुंच गए बिना किसी रिस्ट्रिक्शन से जैसे दूसरे कंट्रीज के हो गए पाकिस्तान हो गए और नाइजीरियन हो गए वो लोग इंडियन फ्लैग्स अपने बसेस में ये करके पार किए हैं जो चेक पॉइंट है वो फ्लैग देख के उन्होंने कुछ नहीं बोला और उन्होंने खुद ने हमको रास्ता दिया जाने के लिए तो उन बच्चों को भी लगना हमारा चमड़ी के रंग से भी ज़्यादा हमारे तिरंगे का इतना ताकत थी कि उस देश में जहाँ इतना बड़ा संकट है लोग अपने लिए मुसीबत में से गुजर रहे थे लेकिन तिरंगा देखते ही हमारी मदद करते थे। हर घर तिरंगा happened in war torn Ukraine and wherever the Indian flag was flying safe passage was ensured। तो ये सारे ऑपरेशन ने तिरंगे की ताकत के अनुभूति कराई और सिर्फ उन बच्चों को कराई जैसा नहीं भारत में जिस जिस ने सुना जिस जिस ने जाना उसका भारत के तिरंगे की ताकत में भरोसा बढ़ गया While on the ground, the initial success of the evacuation was encouraging. There was misinformation, fake news and conspiracy theories floating online that made communication and planning challenging for Operation Ganga. Social media has got anonymity. All kinds of videos that were floating around, some true, some not true, some made up, and it becomes a great uh, multiplier of uh, disinformation. What often happened is uh, someone posts something about a problem in a particular area, that problem is resolved, but that post is not deleted and it's amplified. But these things happen. This is part of the game. This is part of the challenge. When we were able to send out the imageries of what is happening on ground, everything is organized. Be assured. Plus, we also monitored the social media to see what kind of criticism or help people were asking for. At that time, Poland was closed. Then we talked to the government from the government. They talked to us and they gave us a little bit of patience. This is our service. In the moment, you have to be careful. In the moment, you have to be careful. In the moment, you have to be careful. In the moment, you create this communication line. It becomes simpler. So, social media is both good and bad. The border of Siret is close to 500 kilometers from Bucharest. Once the Indians from Ukraine arrived at the border, they had to further travel this distance by bus to the Bucharest shelter camp and await evacuation. I looked at the map uh, with the Romanian ambassador and I said, do we have any airports close to the border? She then indicated a, an airport called Suceva, which was a domestic airport, not an international airport. Within uh, 36 hours, the Romanian government opened up a domestic airport for international evacuation. It's something that is probably unheard of. As the number of students swelled, an ingenious process was devised to keep track of the humongous number of students passing through. We gave an ID code 
to every single student. We then track the student from the crossing of the border to coming to the shelter camp, from the shelter camp, moving to the airport, from the airport, tagging that person onto the flight that they have taken, and then that same tag being given to the state government where the student is permanently domiciled to be able to enable the state government to receive that student at the Delhi airport or the Mumbai airport and then arrange for their transport, safely see them all the way home. Jung ke beech jaan bachakar itni zyada sankhya mein log Poland pahunch rahe hain ki unke rehne ka intizam karna muskil ho raha hai. ऐसे में एक बड़े स्पोर्ट्स सेंटर को ही उनके रहने का ठिकाना बना दिया गया तस्वीरों में ये कैंप पूरी तरह से खचाखच भरा नजर आया वंस द स्टूडेंट्स क्रॉस्ड ओवर अ जाइगेंटिक लॉजिस्टिकल सपोर्ट वाज रिक्वायर्ड टू हाउस फीड लुक आफ्टर एंड ट्रांसपोर्ट द थाउजेंड्स ऑफ स्टूडेंट्स एंड दिस इज वेयर द इंडियन डायस्पोरा स्टेप्ड इन सेल्फलेसली फॉलोइंग द एज ओल्ड मैक्सिम ऑफ वसुदेव कुटुंबकम द वर्ल्ड is one family made some 160 plus calls to hotels motels in the region we had managed to discuss with a particular hotelier and i still remember he thought probably i've lost it you know what am i talking about you know to get 250 mattresses in 24 hours but he understood the the situation and he was kind enough to arrange things the way we wanted so i called up my ex company and asked them that if they could give roughly around 5000 free sim card but to the surprise thanks that the company sent 20000 sim cards not only for the indians they gave it to everybody who were crossing over with free gb internet all our citizens in those countries that were sitting and cooking up meals arranging buses for transport tending to students medical needs and it's a on the scale that probably india has never seen before our nri is really coming to uh, the aid of of our students in continuation with the spirit of india the prime minister personally got in touch with the leaders of spiritual organizations duniya mein kahin par bhi rehne wala bhartiya ho sakta hai uske passport ka rang badal gaya ho lekin uska hamare sath khun ka rishta hai hum passport ka rang nahi dekhte hain hum us khun ke rang se jude hue hain when the prime minister called there was a deep concern in his voice He said Brahma Vihari Swami I request you to set up relief camps as soon as possible in any of the border towns of these countries because thousands of our students are trapped and instantly BAPS Swaminarayan Sanstha went into mobilizing its force to set up the relief camp full marks to the social assistance providers one's heart is filled with um, you know such gratitude and humility they were feeding people no matter what numbers they came in each one of them uh, hare krishna is con a seva bharati i mean there was a, a case of an indian restaurant owner from vienna he came in with his family he is a sikh and he was serve, serving 600 meals a day like in poland in warsaw you have a gurdwara you have a temple you have people from art of living you have people from swami narayan uh, area you have got uh, ashlar uh, mittals uh, set up out there wipro or infosys or uh, sun pharma or or a number of these companies that came to the fore as the war raged on prime minister narendra modi was in touch with many world leaders including the head of the European Union the president of France and the president of Poland and thank them all for relaxing their visa laws that made it easier for Indians to move to their country from the conflict zone in some cases the scenes reminded us of what happened 76 years ago Poland uh, has a very special relationship In Second World War, they sent out a lot of their children so that they could take refuge outside. And when the war finishes, they can come back. Otherwise, they would have all been killed. Now they went to various countries and they were turned back from there. And ultimately, they landed in uh, Jamnagar. And that is when the Jam Sab said, "They are all my children." He adopted them as his children. Poland holds us in a very special friendship because of this. And uh, this is the reason why Indians who were 
coming out, they were all getting a Schengen visa for 15 days. No other country got it. वॉर रूम से सबसे बड़ी ब्रेकिंग न्यूज कार्किव में एक छात्र की मौत की जानकारी आ रही है जिसका नाम नवीन बताया जा रहा है नवीन की जो डेथ हो गई कार्किव का जो स्टूडेंट था उसके लिए हम लोग को बहुत अफसोस रहा बहुत तकलीफ रही पेरेंट्स हैड लॉस्ट देयर चाइल्ड एंड इंडिया हैड लॉस्ट अ सन इट वाज अ सैड डे फॉर द कंट्री प्राइम मिनिस्टर मोदी ऑर्डर द इंडियन एयर फोर्स to be pressed into action the iaf quickly assembled its fleet of c17 globe master transport aircrafts when a indian air force aircraft lands amongst the countrymen it brings in great amount of confidence because the armed forces have their own image in the eyes of uh, people as people who cannot fail indian army number 1 secondly it has space it can land on much shorter strips and uh, they were also used for taking the humanitarian aid meanwhile in ukraine a larger problem arose beyond kiev the eastern part of the country was now an active war zone the students at kharkiv were at risk india decided it needed safe corridors to evacuate its citizens prime minister spoke to president putin and we got the russians to say look we are moving our students this time our firing apna band kar the uh, russians had actually told us saying in that direction they won't be firing so we needed some safe way out and we moved them to a nearby uh, place called pesochin it was a matter of pride to see that india takes a center stage in the global affairs a uh, nation first policy there has been a fundamental restructuring of domestic policy and foreign and security policy after 2014 By 3rd March even though 18000 Indian students had been evacuated from Ukraine there was a big challenge for the Indian government and this came from the two towns of Sumy and Kharkiv that lay close to the Russian border in fact Sumy which was only 30 miles from the Russian border and had about 600 Indian students holed up in bunkers with very little hope and even lesser water and food we are students of sumi state university we are residing right now in first hostel there is no electricity right now in a hostel and there is no water available for us so we would like to request the government to give us some advisory how we can evacuate from here because we may not die with this war zone but we will die with scarcity of water and food this is how we are collecting water i think god have shown some mercy so we are getting water while us no fun मैं कश्मीर का हूँ तो हमारे यहाँ जब वाटर की रेस्ट्रिक्शन होती है कुछ तो हम मेल्ट करते हैं वहाँ पे पानी उस चीज़ की एक्सपीरियंस थी मुझे तो मैं फ्रेश वगैरह होने के लिए और बर्तन वर्तन धोने के लिए मेल्ट किए बॉटल में शाम के टाइम में फाइव सिक्स ओ क्लॉक के आसपास अटैक हो गया सुनने पर हमारे सामने एयर स्ट्राइक हो रही है उस दिन ऐसा लग रहा था कि ये हमारी रात जो है आखिरी है it was a three way problem students there uh, they were caught between the russians and the ukrainians but there was also an ukrainian militia in a sense wo apna karte the jo karna tha so okay i was not able to uh, necessarily give us the uh, lines to these people harjot who had been hospitalized since being shot at on 28th of february finally woke up on the 3rd of march it was now time to tell his parents about his brush with death mummy ko maine call karke video call pe mummy puchti kahan pe hai main kaha mummy himmat hai aur mummy kehti bahut himmat hai 
पर मम्मी को अपनी बॉडी दिखाई सब कुछ दिखाया तो मोम क्राई करने मम्मी रोना स्टार्ट हो गई जब उसने नीचे करके दिखाया तो उसके पाइप वगैरह लगे हुए थे यहाँ ब्लड के हाँ ये तो आप जान ही सकते हो कि माँ बाप के दिल में क्या आ सकता है उस टाइम मैंने मम्मी को ये बोला मैं मम्मी आपने शेर पैदा किया मैं मरता नहीं मैं हरजोत वॉज अ शेर ही हैड सर्वाइव्ड बट सो वर द हंड्रेड्स ऑफ इंडियंस हु वॉक्ड हंड्रेड्स ऑफ किलोमीटर्स टू द बॉर्डर्स ऑफ यूक्रेन ऑफन With minimum or no food and water. We had to do something special for Sumi. If Indian diplomats actually went to Sumi, it would reassure the students: if we can come from here, they can come out from there. So we sent two very senior officers from Delhi, Russian speaking officers. Both the Joint Secretary J P Singh and I, we speak Russian language, and so we were asked and we immediately agreed to proceed to Ukraine. Issue ये था कि उस एक दो घंटे में आपको कोई नीचे ground team चाहिए, और उस coordination के लिए हम लोगों को भेजा गया था. एक बार हम तय कर लेंगे करना है, तो मेरे देश के सेना के जवान, हमारे देश के विदेश विभाग में काम करने वाले लोग हमारे देश के डायसफोरा हमारे देश ने अब तक बनाए हुए संबंध इन सब का सामर्थ्य इतना है कि आप भारत दुनिया में ऐसे किसी भी संकल्प को लेकर के जाता है तो पूरा भी करता है मीन वाइल इन सुमी द फाइटिंग हेड एस्किलेटेड एंड सम 600 हंड्रेड ओल्ड इंडियन स्टूडेंट्स व कॉट अप द Sumi was stuck because it's close to the border where the conflict was happening and the conflict there was intense and we were lining up whatever available transport to see that they get up question was how soon could we find that corridor of safety and for how long would that corridor of safety last kareeban 8 baje ka time tha pm sham ko to maine khidki kholi to some explosions hue wahan pe i was literally matlab mere ko bahut zyada wo डर लगा तब मैंने फिर मतलब आलमाइटी को याद किया मेरे को लगा कि आज तो शायद लास्ट दिन है वाइल द वॉर एस्क्यूलेटेड द इंडियन एम्बेसी इन हंगरी रिक्वेस्टेड दैट ऑल इंडियन स्टूडेंट्स रीच बुडापेस्ट फॉर सेफ एक्सट्रैक्शन The embassy of India in Poltava city tweeted and reassured the Indian students stranded in Sumi that safe passage would be arranged. Meanwhile, more Indian students returned home. The border guards were also quite uh, at that point of time a little perplexed and were uh, asking why are you entering Ukraine when everybody is actually going out. हर पाँच किलोमीटर और दस किलोमीटर के दायरे में बैरिकेड्स लगे हुए थे ट्रेंचेस खुदे हुए थे गाड़ी के अंदर घुस के आपसे पूछा जाता था कि आप कहाँ जा रहे हैं आप ये सोचिए कि पूरा यूक्रेन एक साइड में बाहर जा रहे हैं एक्सोडस मास एक्सोडस हो रहा है बाहर जा रहे हैं बचने के लिए और आप अंदर जा रहे हैं इट टूक एस नियरली फोर्टी आवर्स टू रीच प्लेस कॉल्ड पोलतावा वेर वी एस्टेब्लिश कैम्प वहाँ पर जाके हमें पता चला सुमी की जो इनर सर्कल है वो रशियन फोर्सेज ने कंट्रोल की हुई थी और जो आउटर सर्कल है वो यूक्रेनियन फोर्सेस ने कंट्रोल किया हुआ था जब तक आपका रशियन और यूक्रेनियन दोनों के साथ कोऑर्डिनेशन नहीं होगा तब तक आप कुछ भी नहीं कर सकते ऑन मार्च समथिंग इन मॉडर्न कॉन्फ्लिक्ट हैपेंड। इट वाज सेवेंथ ऑफ मार्च एंड वी वर टोल्ड टूडेट इट लाइक अ सीक्रेट इवन डोंट टेल योर पेरेंट्स एंड वी वर लाइक है फाइनली This is the day. So the first time we got the green corridor signal, we got them all out, and they were all practically sitting in the buses. Three buses came, and it was like a green corridor will be provided, and then three buses will go to Poltava. Then they will drop students. Then it will come back, and others will go. It was like that. But there was still that element of doubt because they had to transverse about. 25 to 40 kilometers till they reach the railway station to move out to safety that could not be assured or guaranteed with minutes to go before the start of the evacuation india decided not to go ahead we actually had a situation we boarded them on the buses 
एंड द फायरिंग स्टार्ट आई मीन कैन यू इमेजिन द मोरल ऑफ समबडी कि आप बस तक बैठ गए एंड नाउ यू हैव टू लीव द बस एंड गो बैक इनटू द डॉम व्हाट इज एट स्टेक इज अ लाइफ द लाइफ ऑफ समवन एज अ वल्नरेबल एंड डियर एज मे बी अ चाइल्ड अ स्टूडेंट एंड देयरफॉर यू हैव टू बी 400 500 percent sure before you could think of advising someone to do something and uh, indians there were your responsibility meanwhile in sumi indian students they had begun to lose hope and thus posted a video on social media but this posed a greater challenge because they said we have awaited a lot and we cannot wait any more we are risking our life we are moving towards border the challenge was to stop them from walking into the line of fire the sumi students naturally got very upset because they were seeing people from other areas go and ye log phas gaye and unko laga ki you know what about us i had colleagues here who were regularly talking to them you know it was almost like counseling them saying look don't do something which will put yourself in trouble on 9th march the multiple channels that were working at the rescue of indian students from sumi gave a reassurance to the indian government and a green corridor had been established for india to evacuate its students prime minister spoke to president putin he spoke to president zelensky to unhone hame jagah batayi a b c d e ye aapka corridor hai you take this route from poltava when we started our mission for sumi to evacuate our students and when we met them they were so happy when uh, the students uh, saw us some of them came and hugged us and they were crying and they felt that someone was there someone came all from delhi to rescue them a team was there from the government of india has sent a team to rescue them 14 buses proudly displaying the indian tricolor picked up indian students from sumi and started moving them towards safety in west ukraine and beyond the students uh, from sumi have now reached lv thereafter there will be a special train that will take them from lv across over the poland border from where they will then board their plane to mother india i'm happy to say that i was there at the at the station uh with my overcoat and my cap on and all these kids were there and we were there at the station waving the flag hamari evacuation thi wo one of the best evacuation thi jo possible nahi thi kyunki we were stuck mai jis flight mein aaya wo la- last flight thi wo army ki flight thi bahut acha feel hua proud movement tha hum logo ke liye i'm a krishna bhakt <laughs> and uh, i do remember my father used to always tell this hare uh, murare madhukai tuvare गोविंद गोपाल मुकुंद सौरे जगेश नारायण कृष्ण विष्णु निराश्रयमान जगदीश रक्ष सो वेन यू थिंक यू आर रीचिंग अ पॉइंट वेर यू सी नो एवेन्यू थिंक ऑफ द वन यू ट्रस्ट हैव कॉन्फिडेंस इन एंड ऑल माई टेबल शो यू दू फाइनली वी आर गोइंग होम लाइक एवरी वन वर्ल्ड हैप्पी क्राइंग इमोशनल दैट वॉज द मोमेंट वेन वी स्टार्टेड सेंग जय हिम that was the last batch that was coming in we also had uh, four legged friends in that i think uh, that day we had about 12 of them or 13 of them we also had harjot lab ek ko mila ho panch ko mila ho 50 ko mila ho 1000 ko mila ho 20000 ko mila ho lekin back home 140 करोड़ देशवासियों में विश्वास जगाता उसमें एक सामर्थ्य पैदा करता है फॉर अ लॉर्ड ऑफ कंट्रीज जस्ट गेटिंग टू प्लेन्स एंड गेटिंग पीपल आउट वॉज अ वेरी बिग डील लुक वी गॉट नाइंटी फ्लाइट आउट एज द लास्ट फ्लाइट एज पार्ट ऑफ ऑपरेशन गंगा लैंडेड एट हिंडन एयरफोर्स बेस ओवर ट्वेंटी टू थाउजेंड फाइव हंड्रेड इंडियंस हैड बीन इवेक्टेड फ्रॉम द वॉर जोन शायद दुनिया का कोई देश भी अपने नागरिकों को ऐसे संकट से बाहर लाने के लिए इतना बड़ा साहस नहीं कर सकता है 
जितना बड़ा साहस भारत ने किया बिलीव मी वैन इंडिया स्पीक्स लॉर्ड ऑफ थिंग्स हैपन एंड दैट इज वाई आई थिंक टूडे आर वॉइस इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट ऑपरेशन गंगा का प्लान बहुत ज़्यादा सक्सेस हुआ बहुत अच्छा था इसीलिए बच्चे वापस आ गए ठीक है नहीं तो बच्चों को आना बहुत मुश्किल था एक एक इंडियन एक एक बच्चा सेफ आया है तो ये इंडियन गवर्नमेंट के लिए हम लोगों की तरफ से बहुत ही बड़ी उपलब्धि है ये वाकई बहादरी वाली बात है कि उस मुल्क के अंदर से जहाँ इतने बम चल रहे हैं रॉकेट चल रहे हैं मिसाइलें चल रही हैं वहाँ से निकालना काबिल तरीफ थी गवर्नमेंट ने जो किया है वो नामुमकिन मुमकिन बनाया ऑपरेशन गंगा वॉज सक्सेसफुल फ्रॉम मेनी एंगल एंड हिस्टोरिक and the biggest ever operation not only by india by any country from a war zone hamare indian governments ne bahut achhi suvidhaye di hamare liye flights available the bhagwan ke baad agar ghar mein naam liya ja raha tha to sir wo aap the modi ji hame bacha lenge ab jo bhi kar sakte hain modi ji kar sakte hain hamara india itna acha hai ki hamare flag ke zariye dusre nations ke log nikal rahe hain and it's best encapsulated by a comment that was made by uh, a 6 year old girl on one of the flights the child turned around to me and said uncle modi ji ko mere taraf se thank you keh dena that to you is the sum and substance of operation ganga operation ganga is a remarkable example of how a government delivers in the most trying circumstances and implements a highly complex rescue mission from a war zone operation ganga safal hone mein ratti bhar bhi sawaliya nishan nahi tha wo safal hoga ek ek bachcha lot ke aayega unke maa baap ke jo sapne hain un sapno ko main chur chur nahi hone dunga aur wo ho saka